it truly does get better and there are hard times and sometimes things really are terrible and dark, but it truly, it does get better. As families and loved ones in Lewiston, Maine process the horror of what happened October 25th, few people can understand exactly what they've gone through. One person who can is Heather Martin. I would just say, you know, it is overwhelming and it is going to be, you know, a roller coaster of emotions. A survivor of the Columbine school shooting, she knows all too well the trauma families in Maine are experiencing. It's why she and other Columbine alumni started a nonprofit to help. We formed the Rebels Project in 2012 after the shooting at the Aurora Theater because in 1999, after the shooting at Columbine, we really needed people who got it and understood what we had been through because we didn't feel comfortable talking to people who didn't because I mean, they don't they don't know. Heather says the Rebels Project reaches out soon after a mass shooting like the one in Maine, and they keep reaching out, checking in with communities long after many others have forgotten. Over the years, like we have learned that it's really, really helpful to connect with people who get it and you need to be there for the long run. And it's not always in the immediate aftermath when people want to talk. Through the Rebels Project, they help connect survivors of mass shootings with fellow survivors, offering a network of help, resources, and information by and for people who have been through it themselves. They'll share stories, talk about coping mechanisms, and what triggers they experience, supporting survivors years, even decades down the road. As awful as it is that this community exists, they're so grateful to have it. As these mass shootings continue, Heather says this community they've built is needed more than ever. As a nonprofit, like we would love to go out of business tomorrow, but if Columbine is any indicator, like we'll still be needed 25 years from, you know, the, the shooting in Maine. Martin says for any mass shooting survivor, this trauma won't be going away, but it can get better. She says a trauma trained therapist can really help survivors process through what they've gone through. And for those with loved ones who survived a shooting, she says don't minimize their experience, but instead offer them support. We'll have more resources and help in this story on 9news.com. Yeah, and, and it's just they don't want their community to only be identified with this terrible act. So I think they can help them with that too as well. Yeah, absolutely, and not just now, in the years to come. All right, thank you, Rachel.